so I want to share an experience that I had not too long ago. It was a probably a few months ago this year where um, I was shopping for groceries. Um, so there's a Smith's really close to my house that I go to. I've gone fairly regularly for the last while. It's just the nearest grocery store. So I went there the other um, uh, a while back and I was picking up actually, I was picking up uh, donuts for family home evening. So I was dressed up. I'm not normally dressed up in like a hoodie and like sweats and stuff, but I, this day I was. And um, I went into the store just really fast because we we're gonna play sports, so that's why I was dressed up like that. And I went to, into Smith's. You know, I grabbed the donuts, I and then I go to the checkout line, and then I pay for the donuts in the self-checkout line. And then I'm heading on my way out of Smith's and one of the Smith's attendants or Smith's like employees like stops me. I've never been stopped before and she asked me if she could see my receipt. And I found this to be really odd because I've never been asked for a receipt at a Smith's. Um, from my experience, I've never seen anyone been asked for like a receipt on their way out. Um, I know it happens in a few stores, sometimes at, uh, depends on the Walmart, I know at Costco they do, but I've never seen it done at Smith's, ever, in my life. So she asked me for my receipt, and I don't know, she's not, um, I get this just really bad feeling all of a sudden, and I ask her, you know, like, is that normal? Do you guys usually ask for receipts from customers on their way out? And she said, no but I have the authority to do so. So at this point, I knew something was wrong. I try not to assume any like racial um, implications um, when I'm dealing with, you know, like if people or issues, but that's really the first thing that came to my mind when she was treating me this way because it's it was such a weird and out of place um, um, situation. So, I go into my pocket, I take out the receipt, and I show her that I bought the donuts, and um, she's like, okay, like, you're good to go. And I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just angry. I'm pretty angry. I'm not, I don't usually get this angry, but I turn to her and I just tell her, I was like, I hope you check everyone's receipt on the way out, not just mine. And I just like leave. And, you know, I, I'm pretty, like, frustrated by this. I, you know, I talked to a couple of friends and some family to make sure, like, I wasn't overreacting. But, no, like, it definitely was, a, uh, like, a like a situation, I feel like. It was, like, being, I was being profiled. Now, um, saying that, um, actually, a couple of days later, I went back to that Smith's. I had to buy groceries for myself this time. And it was like raining and stuff, so once again, I was wearing a, like a hoodie. I go into the store, I buy my groceries, and once again, I go through the checkout line. Like the minute I get on the checkout line, two employees stand right behind me, like just a few feet behind me. And you can feel, you know when you feel like someone's right behind you, like watching you? I like felt that immediately, I turn, and right behind me, they're watching me. Like, no, they're not watching any other of the stations. They're just watching specifically me. And I make it very obvious that I'm looking at them while they're looking at me. So they step back a little bit. And at this point, I, I just, you know, I still have that experience from the other night of me being profiled. And now I'm getting like super angry again, once again. I'm just getting really angry at this uh, situation. I check everything in, in my bag. I pay for my groceries and I decide to confront the employees. I don't usually do this. This is not something I like to do. I don't want to have issues with people. So, but I was kind of fed up with this, how I was being profiled. So I decided I was gonna confront them at that moment. So I went up to, it was like a gentleman and a lady there, and I told them, hey, why were you guys singling me out? 
Why were you guys watching every single move I make? And the lady, she said, oh, I wasn't, we weren't doing that. Uh, we do that to everyone. And I just give this like really like death stare to them because I knew that was bull crap. Um, and I turned to the guy and kind of say the same thing. Why were you guys doing that? Why were you doing that? He let up. He was like, he was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like I, we apologize. Uh, there was someone that looked like you um, that gave us some issues earlier. And really that's what I want. I want them to make that statement that I wasn't being crazy. I wasn't just imagining this in my mind, that I was being singled out. I was being profiled at this store. And he admitted that they were watching me. They were watching me everything I do, just make sure, I don't know, I wasn't stealing or I wasn't gonna cause issues. I don't know, I don't know what they were wondering. I left the store pretty angry. Um, I decided to contact the manager. I talked to her, um, she didn't really care. She said she would look into it and call me, she never did. I called uh, the regional uh, store and filed a complaint. I still, I didn't hear anything from them either. Um, and at this point, I feel like I've done everything I can, um, except um, sharing this story. And I'm over it for the most part. Um, it's something that, um, you know, it doesn't feel good when that this happens. Especially when you're doing like everyday things, you know, like grocery shopping. The reason why like this has to stop and this has to be, I feel like it's important for me to share is because a lot of people, a lot of minorities um, doing everyday things are being singled out every single day. The most tragic case of this is Ahmad Arbery where he was just running. He was running for like personal fitness and he was hunted down, lynched, and killed in the street in Georgia. Because he was quote unquote, looked like someone who also was having issues in the neighborhood that people were suspicious about. Um, but honestly, it was because he was black. And I share that not to compare my experience with what happened to him. Obviously that was much more tragic and full with injustice. But uh, the point I'm trying to make is that this is very something very common that happens in society. You know, happens in your local grocery store, happens probably at the school you go to, at the college you attend, probably in the congregation that you attend. And um, I think it's important to point it out and share. And what I challenge everyone to do is when you do see someone like a minority, you know, just doing something normal. What are you thinking? Are you thinking, like, are they dangerous? Are they doing, sus you think they're doing something suspicious? Do you think they're maybe um, something, uh, someone you have to be aware of? And it's fine, like, if you have those biases, I think it's important that you uh, recognize them first, and then you're gonna be able to um, do something about them. Uh, but really the first step is to recognize them. And I think most people don't want to deal with that. And I hope this experience or the story that I shared may help you understand a little bit better about like the social injustices that are happening every day in our society. Hope you have a great day and a good week and stay safe out there. Bye.